Hello friends and welcome to another video lesson of DVR Starts. If you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe and click the bell so that you can be notified of new uploads. This video is in the playlist called Derived Data in SQL. And in this video, we'll be learning how to derive a person's gender in SQL. Let's look now at the contents of a table that we have. So the query is select asterisk from customer, the customer table. Okay, execute that. Then give me a sec. Okay, so the output is down here. We see five, four records from the customer table in the customer table. Notice that there's a column called gender, which is here, and it has values such as M and F, only these two of them, okay? It's either M or an F, both in uppercase. For purposes of storing understandable data, data that makes sense is okay. However, for reporting purposes or display purposes, it would be more uh, user-friendly if we display the gender value in its entirety, okay? If you know what I mean. So to do this, we shall be using a function called decode. And this function has the following syntax. Okay, the syntax, I'm just simplifying it and according to my own words, okay? So this is the function, decode, and then you have a pair of parentheses. And then the first parameter to that is the column name that you wanna decode, and then there's a comma. And next parameter is, it's like an, you see, the decode works like an if then else statement. It's like if condition one, then return one, okay? It's something like that, meaning decode if a certain column, the value of that is this, then display this. And then you go on, else if the value of that column is something else, then display. It goes on, this second and third parameters can repeat in pattern, meaning if this, then this. Next, we have another one, if this, then this. And then if you have an else condition, I mean an else value, then you can put it at the very last of the parameters, right before the uh, parentheses, okay? Okay, so that's how the decode works. It's an if then else statement, which is can be used within a select statement. That's the power of it, okay? So let's now, use the decode statement in a select statement, okay, the decode uh, clause. So still referring to this table called the uh, customer, then we will say select surname, given name, gender, and then I will do the decode. Decode gender, meaning uh, I want SQL to, uh, to focus on this column called gender. And if the value is M, I want it to return or display the string or word called male. Else if the value is F, I want it to return or display female. Okay, simple as that. And then this is just my alias for this column, the new column that will be added in the display. Okay, so select surname, given name, gender, and then finally we have the decode statement um, as the last column of the select uh, selection. Okay, let's display this. Okay, so select surname, given name, gender. And uh, for your convenience and understanding, I have put side by side the gender as well as the decoded value of gender. Okay, so um, if you see gender is um, M, you can see right beside it, it is um, male, right? And if it is F, right beside it, I put female. And that's the power of uh, the decode function having, I mean, working in your select statement. So the beauty of this is that even it's, if it's a select statement, you uh, it makes it possible for you to embed an if-then-else logic within your select statement via the decode function, okay? So again, decode column name, if this value, return this value. If the value is this, return this value, okay? It comes in pairs. And then finally, if you have an else, then you put it at the very last, just before the closing parenthesis, okay? 
So now we've verified uh, that the code is working correctly. We can actually still uh, improve a little bit on this decode statement. How is that? Remember, the first parameter is the column name, and then you have pairs of if, then, if, then. Okay, but I want to sim simplify this decode clause over here uh, by just removing the F string here, okay? What I mean now is this. If the gender value is M, I'm pointing at that, then return the string male. Otherwise, any other value, then it will be for sure female. That's the meaning of that. Now, uh, I have made that little bit of uh, modification to the SQL. And then if I now execute this command, it will appear as if nothing changed, nothing happened. It's because the output will be the same as before. Remember earlier we had pairs of values, M male. If it's M, return male. If it's F, return female. But this time, a little bit of difference. Um, instead of having an F here, I'm just saying all other values of gender, any other value besides M, then it will be considered female. So in that case, just return the string female, okay? So that's it. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, please click subscribe. Uh, and I hope to be seeing you in the next video.